All right, so this tutorial is on photop.com. So this is a website that is pretty much Photoshop. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go through the interface and then get to the commands. So um, go ahead and click on new project, new project. Um, type in the name, so uh, bridge project uh, presentation. Board. And then go right here and uh, click down this drop down menu and switch it to inches, change the width to 24, change the height to 36. Uh, we'll leave the DPI at 72 since this is a web based application. If we had the full blown version of Photoshop, we'd probably want to change this to about 300 for something this size. Uh, we'll leave the background at white. Go ahead and hit create, and you will see this is our canvas. Um, go ahead and hit Control R. This is the ruler. Uh, if you right click on it, change it from pixels to inches, um, and now it goes from 0 to 24 on this side, 0 to 36 on that side. Let's get into some of the tools. Uh, the first tool uh, right there is the move tool. So if we put some pictures here, we can move them. Uh, the second one, uh, if you right click on it, these are the uh, the marquee tool. It's the letter M. Uh, you can select in rectangles, or if you right click, you can select in elliptical shape. If you hold down shift, um, this is a circular shape. If you notice, it says W, 13.389 uh, inches. The height is the same. So that's when you know that it's an exact circle. Um, and then you can move it around. The next one is the lasso tool. The lasso tool is also a selection tool. This is a more precise um, version of the marquee tool. Uh, the first one is um, if you click and hold and drag your mouse, uh, it's a freehand version of the selection tool. If I right click, oops, if I right click uh, and go to the polygonal lasso tool, this one does line segment by line segment. And I like using this one, that's one of my favorites. The magnetic lasso tool. Now this one's great because it does like a predictive uh, selection. Uh, I'll show you how to use that in another video. The magic wand tool is great because it. Uh, I like using that. In fact, the out of the two lasso tools, these are the two that I love the most. The magic wand tool I like using. That's a quick selection tool. You can use that to select one particular color. If I want to select all white. I can select all white. Um, but it's better when you have a picture, uh, so I'll show you that in more detail. Uh, but notice that the keyboard commands are right there, right next to it. W, the lasso is L, the marquee tool is M, and the move tool is V. Uh, the next tool is crop, the letter C. You grab the grip and you can change the size of your canvas. Um, I'm not going to do that because I like the size. The eyedropper tool, we won't get into that. Um, I'll, not from here. We'll get into that when we get into this paint palette. The next one is the spot healing brush. Uh, this is good if you want to spot heal things. Um, like if you ever take those pictures where someone looks like they're possessed by a demon and they got these red eyes, this is a tool to fix that. Or if you got a hideous pimple on your forehead and you want to get rid of it, this is the tool to do that. The next tool is the brush tool. You click on that. And if you right click in the middle of the screen, you can change the size of your brush, uh, the severity of the hardness of your brush. So you can brush like this or like that. 
and it varies. So you can change the hardness at your own percentage. Um, and yeah, you can change the sizes as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. Undo is Control Z. And let's go down to the stamp tool. The stamp tool is is a great tool. It's like a paintbrush, um, but what it does is it samples part of your photo, so you can paint that part of the photo in a different location. I'll show you how to use that in a, another um, video as we start moving along. The erase tool, the letter E, simple as that. It's much like the brush tool. You can change the size of the erase tool, change the hardness. Uh, this is great for blending. Um, so that's the erase tool. Gradient, we won't really get into that, but it's also a pretty cool tool. Um, blur tool, uh, I like using this tool to uh, dull out the edges that look obviously photoshopped. Um, and that brings more of a realistic feel to it. Smudge tool, I like using that to mix in colors. So um, the stamp tool and the smudge tool kind of work hand in hand. Uh, the dodge tool, you can think, think of uh, the dodge tool as like unpainting something or like using paint thinner, doing the opposite of painting. Of a particular color, so you can use that. The burn tool I like using to create shadows. Uh, X type tool. This is like a mini version of Word. Here is your justification, justified left, center, and right. You can change the size of your font. And Adjust it accordingly. You can change the color of your font. Hit OK. You can also change your font to any of these fonts. Uh, we'll get into fonts later. Oops, I'm sorry, not this one. This one right here. There's all kinds of different fonts. There's viewer friendly ones and then there's not so viewer friendly ones. We'll get into that later, but you can kind of see that's not viewer friendly. That's not viewer friendly. Um, so make sure when you choose your font, yeah, imagine trying to read that in paragraph form. Not cool. Um, choose something that's reader friendly. All right, more about fonts uh, later. Let me come back to a simpler font. There we go. Um, all right, the next tool, the pen tool, don't really use that. Pass selection, I don't really use that. Rectangle, ellipse, line, I can create shapes. Uh, sometimes I use this, um, I use these. If I want to make a line and point at something, like I can totally make a line and point to whatever I want to make. Uh, the hand, um, if I'm zoomed in, uh, speaking of zoom, that is control plus to zoom way in, control minus to zoom way out. So if I'm zoom way in uh, and I want to use the hand tool, it helps me slide things over across my canvas and that's a great tool to have um, this is the uh, zoom tool you can zoom in on anything if you right click you can zoom out and there you have it those are the tools um, i'll come back with the next video oh let me go ahead and undo these So I'm going to go ahead and delete these layers. We'll get into layers in a bit. Um, what these layers are pretty much kind of stack 
these uh, items on top of each other. What do I mean by that? Um, like I could put this over that and uh, if I zoom in, like change, I wonder if we could change the shape. The, So this shape, I could change it to, let's see if I could change it to blue. I know there's a way to do it, but anyway. Um, but it's underneath. And so all Photoshop is, is uh, the illusion that a bunch of pictures put together, stacked on top of each other, is one um, solid picture. The, the top layer is the top most um, viewed. Um, let me see if I can find some. All right, so this is actually really good. So this is how layers work. Um, the topmost layer on this list is pretty much the top. Uh, anything underneath it is gonna fall in line underneath that, in that order. Uh, and that's what that is. That's what layers are. But I'm going to go ahead and delete this layer. I can right click, delete, right click, delete. I'm going to go ahead and save this project. Save as PSD. Always save as PSD. That is your Photoshop file. And I'm going to go ahead and save this to right here. That's fine for me. And that's it. Uh, I'll be back with another video.